Hi guys, if you're new to this channel, welcome to Life with Courage and thank you so much for clicking on this video. So let me just dive right into the video. Today I just want to show you guys some educative toys I got for my daughter. I have a three year old. So um I decided to invest in more toys for her, more educative toys and not just any kind of toys. So I just want to show you guys because there are some of you out there that do not have an idea of the kinds of toys you can get for your kids or you want to add to the collection you already have and I think this video is going to help you out. So I'll just start with these ones. These are like puzzle boards. I have different boards, different puzzle boards. This one is for vehicles. Things that you basically, so you have airplane, so uh, the child just removes it and tries to fit it back in. So what happens is I just usually take all of them out of the board. I take everything out of the board and I put them on the floor and ask her to fit them into the right spaces. And she does that. She has mastered this already. I got it about a week ago and. She is so smart that she has been able to master these bots already. And I couldn't help but buy this dinosaur puzzle board as well because she loves dinosaurs. She watches dinosaur uh, shows every day. And I got this for her. She loves it. And also helps with uh, identifying the different colors because see how colorful it is. And also different uh, shapes, uh, different forms, and so on. So uh, this is very good for color identification as well, and uh, forms, different forms as well. And also just have motor skills to be able to hold it and fit it into the space uh, allocated for each uh, shape. Yep. So uh, another puzzle board i'll show you guys is the shapes puzzle board and just to tell you all of these boards come from melissa and duke brand uh it is so thick guys see see how thick it is which shows that it's going to be very durable and each shape or each uh form that comes on with, with the board is very thick as well and it's big enough so I'm not scared of any choking hazards. So these are the shapes. You have various shapes. And at the back of the board, you have uh, the names of the various shapes in different languages and the various colors as well. So it's not just about the shapes on this board. It's also about the different colors, as you can see. And it's very helpful. So like I said, some Melissa and Duke, you can check them out on Amazon. I got all of this from Amazon. And it's not very expensive. I don't know. Um, I'll check for the price and maybe insert it somewhere in the description box. Then this other puzzle board, I haven't opened it yet. It's like Animal Farm Puzzle Board for identification of various animals you can find on your farm. I do not want to just expose or open all the puzzle boards yet because I want that she should be surprised when I open this one. Because when I just put everything out there, she will get bored using the same things over and over. So this is for later. Still for Melissa and Duke. You can see this is how it comes. So it's very good and durable. And another kind of puzzle I got still for Melissa and Duke is this one for numbers I'm sorry for letters one is for letters as you can see i removed the letter a because i was focusing on the letter a this week so i removed the letter a it comes with the letter the capital and the small letter and it comes with um anything that starts with the letter that you're working with so uh, the child just tries to it in the shape or the article or the item with the letter in question as you can see 
So that's how it comes. Very colorful and it's not something that you can buy. It. It's solid, so it's good. So yes, how it comes, and at the back of it, you have like ideas on how to play with this puzzle. This is it, and the different things it teaches your child. It's not just about uh, recognizing numbers, but also matching. Uh, sorry, recognizing letters, but also matching uh, letters to uh, uh, different items, and also. Uh, the different sounds of the letters, sorting activity, how to sort the different letters and the different items that come with each letter. So it's a very good item. And the uh, next one I'll be showing you guys is Heads and Tails. So it's from Heads and Tails. It's a different brand, it's not me, so it's Heads and Tails. This is how it comes. I've not opened this one as well. Well, I actually opened it, but I've not given her to play it yet. Um, I'll give it to her later on. So, two to five years, as you can see here. It's just uh, matching the head and the tail of different animals, different objects. So, this is it. When you open it, these are the different puzzles that you see inside the puzzle pieces. As you see, you can see pretty. And put it for the child to look for the other parts. You can see here this is a monkey head and this is a tail, it's just to match the head and the tail. So it is a very good puzzle as well for the child. And the next, I got so many things, guys. The next, uh, puzzle box I'm going to show you guys is this one obviously where we have letters we just have numbers I got the counting this one is from match it ah, counting 30 self correcting puzzle sets teaching counting so it comes like the heads and tails I showed you earlier in tools like this and the child tries to match the number and the item so here you have one and here you have just one item so it matches like this same with this this one match with the item and the color not just about the item but also the color so it also helps with sorting with uh, identifying different colors uh, and the number of items that uh, pertain to the various numbers that the child sees here so I already removed this number one because we're working with number one and I'm going to remove number two. This coming week. Okay, moving to the next item, guys. I got this. I don't know if I should call it a box or a bucket. So these little dinosaurs. This is how it comes in this tiny nice box. So they are Montessori. Toys for toddlers, little dinosaurs like this. This one I cannot leave it to her to play on her own because they are small and she can put them in her mouth. So I bring out these ones only when I'm with her and I want her to count and uh, separate the various colors. It comes in different colors, I think five different colors with five different bowls for each color. Okay, they're actually six purple, yellow. Orange, blue, red, and green with the different, uh, yeah, these different colors or color of dinosaurs for the child to sort them out in their various colors and also helps the child to count. So when you're sorting it out, you're counting one, two, and so on. So it's a very good counting toy. So the next item I got is this basket filled with vegetables, fruits. Pot, can, spoons, plates, um, proteins, and also a stove on which you can cook. Uh, she loves cooking a lot. She loves playing, cooking activities. So I got this, and she loves to play with it all the time. 
there's a little knife and she can use to like try to cut the different fruits and vegetables to separate them like that yeah that's how it is separate them like that so yeah i love love it the pots and pans come with lids um, i'm trying to locate one pot this is a knife the one she uses is not sharp at all it's just a toy okay this is the pan that she uses to cook and the lid how it is she loves me so much so it helps her also identify the different fruits the different vegetables and various colors and also to pretend play on her own uh, that she's cooking she tends to be cooking on her own so moving to the next item um so that is hats i made these ones are not actually new uh I just like to show you that uh, what i use i made them myself so i printed them from i think pinterest yeah i got them from pinterest printed them and classified them like this so that they'll be very durable they have lasted for i think almost almost a year yeah they've lasted for almost a year and they're still all good so you have letters various colors uh for her to identify you have how to count your fingers you have colors it's still alphabet then you have numbers like this then here you have shapes yeah there are so many others with animals fruits uh sea animals so many things but i couldn't just show everything here so these are just samples of what i have and they are so good you can do them yourself just print from any platform it could be canva it could be pinterest just go get letters colorful shapes and letters like this print and classify so that they can be durable for your try to study with. um the next thing i got this one i got it some time ago but i think it was still from amazon this one is her coloring a kind of coloring book yeah coloring book we really started using i love the book so much that i started coloring it <laughs> so uh this is it i love this book because the colors it comes with cannot be used on another book or on a simple kind of paper it goes only on this paper so it cannot get to the floor or get to her hands so that's why i love this so much though it's a little bit tricky before the child because when she colors with it it takes a few seconds to show on the paper but it is so good and uh, you're sure you're not going to dirty everywhere while coloring so yeah it is there are still so many things we have to color and it is cocoa melon paint because obviously she loves cocoa melon okay the next item i'm going to show you guys is this activity book that i got from amazon let me just remove it from the back so this is the activity book it comes with so many different shapes so many things i need to attach into the book so here it is we're doing alphabet the other day and attaching so we just remove like this with the letter a and you actually try to look through the letter a in your book and you put it there like that f put it there so that's it it's so so good Thanks so many different activities these are for colors this side is for numbers we are still to stick the numbers there this side is for sizes big medium small 
decide this one the weather, uh, days of the week. So there are so many things in this book. It's packed with so many activities, colors, and there's also a uh, tracing for letters and numbers, as you can see. This where your child can learn how to trace letters and where your child can learn how to trace numbers. <laughs> so my baby was drawing her things there, as you can see, uppercase and lowercase, but it's not difficult to clean. I just need to get it because the paper is actually like plastic, as you can see, so it's very solid. You need to get something and clean it properly and you come off. So, yeah, that is it for this activity book. It is very good, very durable, and there are so many fun activities you can do with your child. But the only disadvantage I have with this activity book is the different pieces you can attach or you have to attach to the book. These ones, these pieces, because this one is actually paper, and your child can easily tear them. So, so I have to be there each time she's using this <laughs> to avoid losing some of these pieces. Yep, that's it for the activity book, and it comes with its colors. It comes with these colors. Yep, when you use, you can erase with this side. It's like a Sponge or something you can use to erase the colors. So the next thing I'm going to show you guys are books. The books I've got and that we have been using so far. So I'll start with this one. This one first. These colors. I love these books so much because durability, guys, is everything. It is good. You see how colorful it is. All the flaps are very thick. And when it's, you open like this, the child can actually flip over and look at it. Different thing. See? And this one is for numbers. You can see various numbers with different items. Uh, which match the number on the page. And it's also a kind of interactive book because the child can actually trace with the finger. So as you see, child can trace with the finger and feel the numbers. And also the child can flip these little places and count the different objects that are on there. So it's also interactive, so it's nice. And this other book, this is for the letters. Uh, these books are from Tiger Tales. I think so. Yeah, Tiger Tales. Uh, this is for letters. As you can see. Also interactive. Try and feel the letters. And also flip this little area to see the different items or objects that are on there which match with the different letters on each page yep so um our next books i know there are so many activities <laughs> but i love getting these books for my baby and this toy because i know the benefits um she is getting to three years and there are certain things i would love her to at least have an understanding of like numbers, colors, shapes, um how to uh identify the different colors, the different numbers, vegetables, fruits, all those kind of things guys, days of the week, uh the weather, emotions, all those things. So I also got this book. It's called My Good My Way to Good Manners by Elizabeth Cole. Um, I went to the book today and I love the book. It's very, very colorful. This one, you're supposed to read it aloud to your child because my child cannot read yet. So I have to read it out to her. And I decided to skip some parts for the start of this book because um, 
I don't think they're very necessary at the moment. I think they'll be necessary when she will be able to read the book herself. So um, I've chosen where I'm going to read in this book. It's actually a good, colorful book, which uh, teaches children good manners or the importance of good manners. This. And then I got this. Let's talk about body boundaries. So guys, for me, it's never too early to start teaching the child about body boundaries. Never to end. So long as the child can already understand what you're saying, so long as the child can already say no, yes, and like I said, it's never too early to start teaching them about body boundaries and stranger dangers. So this book tells it all. It's uh, by Julia Emote. As you can see, it is so good and colorful as well. I went to the book today and I love it. It talks about so many things. Not just uh, uh, boundaries with your body, but also boundaries with emotions, also uh, uh, respecting other people's boundaries, and so on. So, I love this book, and I'm going to be reading it to her as well. And the last thing, guys, I'm going to show you is this core knowledge book. What your preschooler needs to know. Get ready for kindergarten. My baby is still way, way behind kindergarten, but I decided to get this book to acquaint myself with the things that I could be teaching her through these years before she gets to kindergarten. So uh, I don't want to just be taking on her words at that time and say, uh, had I known or I did not know I had to teach her these stuff. So this is how the book is. It is thick. It has so many poems, stories, uh, songs, history, uh, uh, stories, art, all those kinds of things. I love, love, love the book. And uh, I went through the book today, actually, since I got this bedside to go through it. That's how it goes. And it's demarcated by different colors. So where you have the poems is purple, where you have the songs is uh, orange, where you have uh stories is blue science is green and so on so it's easy to go through and it's just a good book to read aloud to your kids to uh sing songs with your kids and play and dance around and clap and do other things so i love the book i went through the book and i love 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 the book so guys these are the things i decided to share with you guys some educative uh, uh toys and uh items I got for my two-year-old and uh, you could also have an idea of what to get sorry for your two-year-old uh, from this video and you could also add to your collection of what you have my baby goes to day home but not fully so I want to invest it in those days that she doesn't go uh, by teaching her or by helping her uh, gain more knowledge and uh, love uh, exploring and all those things. That's why I'm getting all of these items. And I looked at the curriculum, the Horizon curriculum. I've seen so many reviews on that. And it's also a uh, Christian center, which is good. Uh, but I don't think I need it now. I think if I need to get something like that, it should be when she's close to three years. She still has like eight, nine, ten months to get to three years. So um, for now, I'll just use what I have gotten so far. Um, I also make use of YouTube videos, YouTube channels from uh, Miss Monica, Miss Sarah, and my daughter loves Blippi so much because of dinosaurs, so she watches those a lot. And obviously, Coco Melon, Baby Finn, all those things. So, yeah, so these are the items I got. I hope you enjoyed this video, and uh, I hope to see you in our next video. Please give this video a thumbs up. And please subscribe to this channel, comment and share if possible so that many other people can join this channel and enjoy this content. Thank you so much and have a great time.